You say you're just not socialized. No, there's a, something else going on. Can I on ask in you a question about that? Oh, sure. Do you think that that is an evolutionary advantage that in some way people are developing in this manner so that they can concentrate on things like technology, like astrophysics, like these like very specific things that require immense amounts of concentration and extreme focus. Do you think there's possibly that human beings are developing in that way specifically to accentuate our ability to innovate? So it would be very hard to draw that conclusion as some kind of modern force of evolution because for that to be the case, what would have to happen is those who had this sort of autistic level of focus, so high-functioning autism, uh, they would have to be making more babies than other people. Well, Elon is. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> what, <laughs> He's I, out there doing his nine part. Kids, yeah. So they'd have to be making more babies yeah. relative to everyone else yes. to affect the, the evolutionary path of modern civilization. Yes. And it's not clear that that's what's actually happening. So we have to ask, did that have any value historically? I mean, in the history of the evolution of our species. So in the, in the chapter Body and Mind, I go over the variations that, we, that exist within our species. Mm -hmm. Huge variations in every, in height, in weight, in, in speed, in, in uh, all kinds of things. And you can ask, well, then what is normal? The day that we control the genome, is there going to be some place somewhere where there's a normal human and you're going to take your genome and comp that you're about to control in your unborn child and say, let me adjust it so that it matches this so that all your senses are working as they're supposed to and mm -hmm. all the proportion. Is that, is that the future? We should ask that. Yeah. Because if that's what you're going to do, you're going to homogenize the species. Yes. Okay. Do you realize uh, I, I have a run here of content? I have a run of descriptions of what people have accomplished. Okay, All right, so so for example, there's a guy, uh, there's a guy growing up. He wanted to play basketball. Okay, and he wanted to be like be a professional basketball player. All right, so he worked really hard at it, and he just wasn't tall enough. So he says you should give it up take on but he stayed with it stayed with it they said no this is basketball is for tall people you're not tall okay um he now plays for the harlem globetrotters his name is hotshot what's his last name uh well mugsy bogues is a great example well no that, but right? this, no this guy is four feet five whoa yes he's genetic he's a genetic dwarf People told him he can't play basketball, and now he's one of the most popular basketball players. There he goes. Wow. Okay? Swanson. Hot shot Swanson. Okay? Well, well there kind well, of seems like there'd is, be an advantage of being that is, small so you can move around that I, I, all I'm, I'm making a, a different point. Okay. Yes, the best part of the point. Right. The point is, when you look at someone and they're not, quote, normal... And then you start listing what you think they should not do in life. Mm. Constraining the options that maybe they have ambitions that are greater than anything you imagined. Right. 